again, thank you very much for joining today's webinar. Uh, uh, sometimes technology is not working, but I love technology. So um, I want to introduce myself. I'm a founder of a digital platform called Discover New You. Um, this is a platform who help people to discover a new potential in life. And um, today, actually, today webinars is about potential. Um, so we work with experts from different industry um, on topics such as health, it's mental health um, or physical health, um, it's about your first impression, personal brand, so the topic covers communication, performance improvement, your style, your presentation and also um, money and finance and career. So it's all about uh, your, you know, how you manage with your money, uh, what's your career, where you want to go and when you want to be. Uh, and it's for individual people and a corporate world. So we have different types of packages. It depends on clients' need and problems to solve. And uh, today the topic is a potential as the goal and the vision of my platform. So it's, I think it's exciting and informative uh, topic uh, uh, for everyone. And um, we have uh, three uh, great experts from industry. Um, as the platform uh, idea is um, connecting the coaches uh, no matter where they are based. So we have a lady uh, uh, from uh, Zurich, we have a lady from Milan, and we have a lady from uh, Dublin. And uh, uh, the lady from Milan, Julia, she is a life and fulfillment coach, and she's going to tell you a little bit more about uh, potential and how to actually unlock and discover your own potential in life. We have also um, Kate, Kate Ostas, she's um, mind and uh, business coach and success coach. She is also a certified in uh, Silva Method. So she will look you through and tell you a little bit about that, um, how works the Silva Method and what results can bring. And we also have uh, the last coach, Leslie Calvo. She's from Zurich, Switzerland. And she's also mindset and business and success coach for experience here in, in Switzerland. So um, I think that's, that's the beginning. Uh, the webinar will take around uh, one hour. Now we have a 10 minutes break in terms of the Zoom. Um, I think whenever you have any questions, please ask them at the end of the webinar and uh, I will repeat it so the coaches have time to, to answer your questions. Um, and also, um, yeah, then if you have any questions personally, you can own a couple of tasks uh, on your own. So maybe first we will start with um, Kate Ostosh. Kate, you there? Yeah, hi guys. So welcome everyone from Ireland, uh, from Dublin. As uh, Eliza said, uh, my name is Kate uh, and uh, today I will be representing one of the approach that I use in my work. It's called the Silva Method. Um, I will talk you a little bit more about how Silva Method uh, was able to change my life and I think that based a little bit on my story you would be able to understand how this program actually helped seven millions people around the world because this is just the number of people that we do have in our databases and I will show you, to, I will try to do my best to show you in details and um, how actually this program works. Usually I provide seminars during the four days. So you can imagine I have only 15 minutes, but I will try to summarize for you everything and uh, what I can. So let me uh, show you the screen. I think that it will be better uh, to show you a little bit more because you might understand um, everything better. So guys, today we have a, um, we have a presentations, we have a webinar about unlocking our potential. And um, each of us, so Julia, Leslie and myself, we will be representing some different approach. And as I said to you, I'm going to talk to you about the Silva Method and how the Silva Method has changed and has been changing actually my life till now. So um, as you can see, um, there are two girls on this photo. Probably you can recognize that it's myself. <laughs> it's um, these girls, I would say that they are happy, um, that they are fulfilled, but they still have a little bit difference in themselves. The girls who is sitting beside the desk and making a note is myself from around, I would say, seven years ago. At that time, I didn't have a kids. I was married. I was working full time as one of the trainer in the financial services company in the HR department. And um, even though I would say I was quite successful in everything what I was doing, 
Now, from my perspective that I'm sitting uh, in the different desk, I was not really uh, fulfilled uh, in terms of my own potential. Um, and when I discovered the method that I will be talking to you today, the Silva method, I totally changed my approach in terms of my work, in terms of my da daily routine and everything what I called productivity and effectiveness. So since I started to developing the Silva method tools that I will be talking you through today, I've become a person who found in, 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 in myself much more potential uh, due to the fact that I started to have a time for myself. I started to relax more on the daily basis. So I would say that this is only the difference or maybe the difference is huge because both girls were, as, as I said to you, are quite happy on the on these photos, but the, the girls who is actually meditating and have um, close eyes, it's much, much more fulfilled uh, because she is much more connected with herself due to the fact she is now more able to find more of her own potential. So I think that this is good start in terms of sharing my own story because due to this quick story, you probably would be able to understand better what I really would like to present for you today. So let me tell you now a little bit more about the Silva method, which I'm representing, especially in Ireland. The Silva method is the original alpha and theta training. Don't worry if you are going to be um, amazed by, by some phrases. I will explain them to you during this uh, presentation. That is now taught in over 110 countries for nearly 56 years. And as I've already told you, this program has been already experienced by millions of people around the world. Also, what is very, very interesting, if you like to gather some facts, that the book or all of the program has been uh, translated to 32 different languages. So what the Silva method is really about, the Silva method is the evidence-based proof dynamic meditation program. When I say evidence-based proof, it means that it's science-based program. So I really would like to emphasize here the importance of this program because it's not any wishy-washy stuff that sometimes, you know, you can might find in the internet. This is science-based proof program. So once you are going to apply this program to your life, and um, you know that somebody had research already and you know that everything what you are going to apply is science-based. So everything is based on the proven dynamic meditation program that is very, and I have to tell you, very easy to learn. And um, once you are going to use the technique of the Silva method, uh, you would be able to sustain your personal success. You would be able to optimize, optimize your health, happiness, accelerated learning. You will definitely become a friend with your intuition and you are going to be more spiritually connected with yourself as well. And what is really important that I would like to emphasize here today is that the Silva method has been studied in universities already. And, and as I've already said, it's scientifically proved. So I think that this is the most important information. Obviously more information about it you can find, find once you are going to book a um, consultation session through Discover New You platform with myself. And then I can talk you through with details about how to apply the tools and how you can actually discover your full potential by using the Silva method. And now what I wanted to tell you is how the Silva method works, because I think that this is the basic and um, the main goal of my today presentation. So as you can see here on the slide, Silva method is all about our brain, it's all about our mind, it's all about consciousness, awareness, and subconscious part of our mind. And what we are doing in our classes, what I am doing during my private uh, consultation is, that our students are taught how they can slow down their brainwave activities. As I said to you, I will explain you that in more easy language, just in a few seconds, to the alpha level through controlled relaxation exercises and with conscious awareness. Why? Why is it needed? You may ask now the question, so maybe you are going to have some questions by the end of that webinar, because it is at the alpha level that both left and the right sides of your brain are synchronized and you have the benefits of both hemisphere 
working for you. Once both hemispheres working for you at the same time, you know that you can increase your awareness. And this is also the place I like to call alpha state as a magic place that you can program your goal. And obviously, we all want to manifest our goal in our life, in our reality. So by working with the Silva Method a program, with understanding that program, you would be able, obviously, to slow down your brainwave frequency. And once you are going to be at that relaxation state, you are going also to be more aware about everything what's going on in your life. So that's really the basic. And now, in order to understand everything what I said to you, we need to talk, we need to touch a little bit brain frequency. Uh, you might be aware, or maybe not, but it's totally fine, that we as a human being, we are functioning on the different brain wave frequency. So for example, now, we are based on beta frequency. What does it mean? That we are um, absorbing knowledge by using our senses. We are based in our physical world, which is time oriented, uh, physical oriented. And you can see me, you are using your eyes to see me, you are using your um, ears to hear me. This is basically, you know, physical world of every single human being. But what we want you to do during our program, we want you to slow down your brain wave frequency to alpha. We already know why we want you to do this, because we know that at that level, both of your brain hemisphere are synchronized. What does it mean? You are much more connected with yourself. You can touch your own intuition. Your brain is generating amazing idea. So due to that fact, you can discover more of your full potential. You are more creative, you are more productive, you feel more freedom. It's just that moment, if you can recall yourself maybe from your childhood, that you were so passionate about everything, that you were so authentic, that you know, you, you, you basically, if you had something to say, you were very fluent and direct with that. And obviously, due to the different responsibilities, due to the fact that our brain evolved, we are now um, human beings who are operated on the beta uh, brain frequency. So in the Silva Method program, we can teach you how you can slow down your brain frequency to base on that beautiful state that we call alpha level uh, alpha level and as i said to you just to summarize and repeat it myself a little bit this is the state when you are much more connected with yourself and probably as you know because it's science-based proof once you are more relaxed you can definitely you can definitely feel yourself more and um, you are based in the beautiful state that uh, you can ask yourself uh, about some idea Maybe you don't know what actually you should do in your life. This is the moment during our dynamic meditation that you can basically ask these questions to the universe, God, spirit, you name it, because it's up to you who would be your guru, right? So I think that this is the most important aspect that we based in beta at the moment, and we wanted you to lower your brain frequency just to be at that beautiful relaxation state that you can actually unlock your full potential because this is the place when you can find yourself on a little bit different um, levels. Obviously, our brain functioning also on delta, theta, and the gamma brain frequency, but again, I don't really have a time now to talk to you about that different level of our brain, uh, but as I said to you, you are more than welcome to do it once you are going to book your consultations through Elisa's platform. Also, what is very, very important and what is really much connected with the Silva method is just our brain. We all have a two hemispheres. We have a left one, and you probably already heard that this is the part of us there is more logic that um, we are, thanks to that um, left hemisphere, we are more strategic. We have this uh, ability to plan, to organize the things. And this is basically how we are functioning as an as a adult, as a human being, adult human being. 
But once you are going to move in action, your right brain hemisphere, which I already said to you, it's more connected with your own intuition. It's where you can find more freedom. When you can find more happiness, this is actually also the place when you can find full of your potential. And obviously, uh, this is what I really like to say every single time when I'm presenting anything uh, which is connected with the Silva Method program is that we have to remember that successful people belongs to those who have the ability to think using both sides of our brain. So this is what we need to remember because when I even think about myself, I am very much action oriented person. And I have a tendency to sometimes go deeply within myself and really ask these questions, Kasia, why you are doing this? Is it really necessary for you to do this in terms of fulfilling your full potential, right? We have a tendency to be very logic. We unfortunately kept forgetting about this beautiful side of our say, of ourself, which is based at that alpha state of our brain. So I think that this is clear, guys, uh, so far. And uh, in the Silva Method program, we have the tool that is helping you to reach that alpha brain frequency, and we call that dynamic meditation. So just to recap by the end of my speech today, dynamic meditation is that beautiful tool that even though you are still conscious, this is very powerful, even though you are still conscious, you are going to relax yourself coming from that high, very speedy brain frequency to the alpha state that you can find the magic, that you can use your faculties of geniuses like imagination, visualization, to program yourself to reach the goal. I know that we have Ilana, and I've already know Ilana because she's representing a neuro uh, linguistic programming. So Ilana, maybe you can comment on that as well. But um, we can actually program ourselves to reach any single goal. And by being at that beautiful state of our brain, it's even more possible for us. And due to the fact that we are using these faculties of genius that I've already mentioned to you, yeah, like visualization and imagination, we can even see ourselves from the goal perspective. And it's easier for us then to program ourselves and really manifest our desire. So guys, sitting here today, working for myself for the last seven years, um, being really fulfilled, happy and healthy especially, I really would like to um, encourage you to try how the Silva Method can help you to fulfill your potential. This is wonderful and very easy program and um, that you can teach yourself um, once you are going to have a free time to do it. Plus, during this program, you are going to meditate. And we know how many, med how many benefits meditation has um, in our reality. It's actually, ben it's, 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 it's just beneficial for every aspect of our life. Because thanks to meditation, you can basically improve your immune system. You can be more creative. Uh, you can reduce your stress. You can be more productive. And you can also discover your full potential. So thank you so much, guys, for listening. And if you have any question, please ask. Or as I said to you, you are more than welcome to reach me out uh, under Discover New You platform. Great. Very good. Very nice content. I love it. Uh, I also started to meditate. So I think it's working and amazingly for me, for my results. And I'm actually a couple of months now meditating. So I find it really, really useful. So yeah, that, that's, that's a great and powerful things for you. Uh, and I think um, the Silva method is very, very interesting. Um, something different on the market as well to try and even to, you know, uh, with Kate. Great, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, now we will have another uh, expert that will be life and fulfillment coach for women, Julia Porro. Let me unmute myself. Can you hear me? Yes, we do, yeah. Okay, yeah, perfect, perfect. Thanks, Elisa, for having me and thanks for all of you watching this, this webinar. Um, my name is Julia Porro. I am a certified life coach career coach and restorative yoga trainer. Um, but I decided to uh, describe it in a, in a shorter way and I will use 
life and fulfillment coach because this gives the idea of, of what I do. Um, so my mission is to empower women because I mainly work with women in really uh, finding the clarity as to what they truly want and then exploring possibilities and then courageously create change so that who they are on the inside can be then fully expressed externally too. And today's topic is about potential and I'm very excited to be talking about that because I'm, I'm kind of passionate about this about this topic. And yeah, I just want to give you a short, a quick intro and quick information about, about me. So I grew up in Milan and I started to travel basically since my young age. Uh, so I went to the best schools, to the best universities. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is aching. Um, so yeah, I, I, I basically did all the right things, you know, so I started working in different corporate careers, in events organization, in trade fairs, in startups, in the banking sector. So there was basically nothing really um, wrong, so to speak, in my life, but yet I wasn't feeling fulfilled. So I, I really felt that I, could, that I could be and experience more. And, and it was if, if I was, if I had, you know, this, this big potential, this big thing uh, that I couldn't name exactly inside of me, uh, which wasn't expressed. Okay. So basically I, I lived for many years in the, what I call the not that bad state. Uh, and the not that bad state is of course not terrible and it's not, you know, life threatening, but it's, it's definitely not fulfilling, you know? So long story short, I discovered coaching a few years back and then something, you know, just, just clicked for me. Okay. Because I really um, knew that I found something in which I really could, you know, combine my academic uh, background with my corporate background and my creativity and my, you know, desire for freedom actually value of freedom that I, that I had. So, uh, and most of all through coaching, I really get to uh, express myself fully and I really get to support clients in their own self-expression, which is of course amazing. So I think this is what <laughs> potential is all about. You know, it's not really so related to what you do, but more to who you are and how you feel in the process okay so we know like on a conscious level that fulfill the true fulfillment actually comes from within okay so it really comes from you embodying your potential okay on the inside to then of course express it then you know with your actions in the external reality but it really all starts from you within okay so big question how can you uh, let's say fulfill your your potential in my opinion, it's about being in your authenticity. Um, the truth is that there is nothing wrong with you, so you don't need to be fixed. Uh, and it's really less, for me at least, it's less about you know, the proving and the hustling and the achieving and the you know, drastic change. It's, it's actually quite the opposite. You know? It's really about um, an unbecoming, so to speak, you know, it's really about um, detaching, you know, from all the, the shoulds, from all the uh, rules, from all the, you know, the obligations that, you know, maybe society or, you know, people around you ask for you to, you know, to comply to and to accept. But those rules and those obligations are really not anymore aligned with who you are and they don't bring you any joy. Okay. So I think that it's really about, you know, peeling the layers, you know, and really letting go of all the things that don't serve you anymore and all the things that are not your true you, okay? So you can, you know, eventually become what it is that you, what it is that you are, okay? So really discovering your, your, all, your own potential with, you know, in, in all of your parts and in all of your complexity, in all of your... Um, humanity okay and and that's that's really the, the exciting thing so um of course there are things that can uh, kind of stop you in living your potential and um 
I think it has a lot to do with being a lot in your mind, like being stuck in your mind, what I call the, the monkey chatter in your mind. Um, and it's really common and really recurring, um, especially with women who are um, highly educated and high achievers and multi-passionate. And those are the women I, I used to work with. And um, it's, it's, really, it's really easy for us to, you know, to step into um, patterns like perfectionism or comparison or self-doubt okay this is i mean it's common for every human being but especially for women because we also have this tendency you know to uh be our best selves and you know look for the compromise and sacrifice our desires you know uh, for other people okay so um i really think that those um those fears, because at the end of the day, that's, that's what they are, you know, this mind chatter, it's at the end of the day, fears. Um, I think that what it does, it, it, it really stops you in uh, exploring your creativity. And it really stops you in, um, yeah, exploring and seeing and being open to all of the possibilities that you have to live by design rather than by default. Okay, so I think this is this is really uh, important to be aware of what's going on and what it's actually, you know, stopping you from um, getting closer, you know, to to your potential. And um, I'd also like to to share maybe a couple of, of tips uh, that I think are useful to, uh, yeah, approach your your potential and get to know yourself more and therefore get to know your your potential more. Um, the first one, which is crucial, and we kind of touched on that before, is really uh, about having your nervous system on board, meaning being able to relax and feel safe. Okay, so as you may know, uh, your uh, nervous system is divided into the sympathetic nervous system, which is responsible for the fight, flight, or freeze response. So gets you in a very active state and then there is the parasympathetic um, nervous system which is in charge of your deep relaxation okay so if you are not able to let's say regularly access your parasympathetic nervous system you will always be in the fight flight freeze modality okay so you will be tense uh, you will not feel safe like you will be super aware of what's happening you know outside of you, but you won't be focused on your inside world. Um, you most likely will say, you know, goodbye to your creativity, to your innovation, to your, yeah, to your capacity of being innovative and creating new things and come up with new ideas. You will be less intuitive, okay? You will be definitely less connected with your body and less connected with your feelings, okay? So, and that, that ultimately brings you to not being able to, you know, to fully access all of your potential, okay? Because your potential comes from being uh, in integrity and in your, in your wholeness, in your complexity, okay? So this is, let's say, the number one thing that I, that I would say. It's, it's having your nervous system on board. Of course, mindset is super important, but um, we don't want to stop at the mindset level, okay? We really want to have our, you know, all parts on board and really also have the nervous system on board and our bodies on board to, to support us and support our growth, okay? Then for me, it's really getting clear on what it is that you want. So really getting crystal clear on your values and on your desires. And this is kind of, you know, I'm not saying easy to do, but kind of simple uh, because yeah, we have the tools to do that. The tricky part for me comes after that. And it's related to giving yourself the permission to want what you want and then actually go for it, okay? And this is the tricky part, and again, especially for women, um, but it's really about allowing yourself to, um, to own your desire, okay? And to, and to claim it and to really say, okay, this is what I want, this is who I am, and I'm gonna go for it, okay? So without waiting for, you know, other people's approval or, you know, other people's permission, okay? So it's clarity and permission. Um, then I think it's about failure, okay? And failure is just, you know, this big word and no one wants to talk about failure because it's like the worst thing in the world. And to me, it's actually not. So I think it, it will be a very good exercise to reframe 
failure, okay? Because failure is just information. It's just information about what has worked and what hasn't worked, okay? Because life is not, you know, a football game, so there is not, you know, a winner and a loser. It's, you know, it's an unfolding, it's a journey, it's a process, okay? So if you switch this, this mindset towards this uh, curiosity and this really willingness to look for the information and look for, uh, yeah, for the lesson to implement, then definitely you will be also more open to really uh, discover your potential and try the new things, okay? Be because you will be, of course, less scared about the, so quote-unquote failure okay and then the last thing for me it's about growing the courage and it's kind of my you know favorite one because i'm i'm a big fan of courage and i i always implement the the courage part in my in my work with my clients and um honestly it's not about being uh you know doing reckless actions or being uh, not being scared at all you know so this is not courage being brave and having courage is for me at least about being willing to be open and curious okay and really go on a self exploration and self discovery journey and then being willing to be honest and really true to yourself to your desires and to your values first to then be also authentic and true to other people as an act of self of love you know but again love starts with self-love okay so authenticity starts with your own authenticity and self-expression starts with your self-expression okay and then you can convey you know your your beauty your message whatever it is to the world but it really starts with with a deep understanding and a deep um awareness and a deep you know uh, compassion and kindness towards what it is that you are and what it is that you want okay so that's that's basically uh, for me the the steps to uh, that can really enable you to uh, get closer to your potential so having your nervous system on board being able to to relax and to restore yourself um, being clear as to what it is that you want and then give yourself the permission slip and maybe also with uh, with some support but really growing the confidence to give yourself permission to go after what you want reframing the failure as actually something positive because it's an information at the end of the day and then uh, growing the courage which doesn't mean not being scared or it doesn't mean doing you know crazy stuff but really um, being open and curious as to who you are and what you want and really being in your authenticity to then give that to other people as well so this is basically what i what i have for you guys today and of course feel free to to ask the questions and i hope that some some of it just resonated with you and uh, maybe gave you some some new perspective and of course, if you are you know, interested in exploring more how it will look like to, to work together, absolutely, I invite you to uh, book a free consultation with me on the platform uh, Discover New You. And yeah, I'm looking forward to getting to know you and definitely see what's possible for you from, from now on. Great. Thank you very much, Julia. That was very informative. Well. For me, I really well. like the part with the courage. I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> if you have a courage, you can achieve anything we want. And uh, uh, I, I like in it's your useful. speech. You <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sometimes we are afraid to do things, and women as well, they think too yeah. much, you know, yeah. and they should switch off this voice and more go for things they love to do. So I, I, I really enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much. It was great. Yeah, and now we have uh, Leslie Calvo. She's mindset and success coach. Okay. Thank you. Kim. <laughs> Can you hear me now? I've got my mute off. Can you hear me later? Yeah, very good. We hear you. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Great. So, hi, my name is Leslie Calvo, and um, I'm, as she just said, a mindset and success coach. I help women to achieve success in their businesses and also on their inner world, in their inner. As we've talked about a lot and you've heard from the ladies how important that is to actually not just have the exterior success but also the inner success um, so that's how I work and, and what I do with people um, and I wanted to 
talk today about how your negative self-talk can affect your potential and reaching your potential. Um, I wonder, have you ever told yourself um, that you're not good enough or you're too young or too old or, you know, that maybe it's not going to work? What if that happens? Or maybe you're successful and you've told yourself, you know, maybe what's going to happen when they find out that you're not who they think you are, that you're not as, as brilliant as they think you are, that somehow you've managed to, um, you know, fraud people. Um, all of this is your negative self-talk. And we have um, an average of about 60,000 thoughts a day. And a very interesting um, statistic is that we actually have, what we're thinking is 90% of what we thought the day before. So your thoughts are actually, you're just thinking the same thoughts over and over again. And unless you've done some of the self-work that the, the other wonderful coaches were talking about, um, then normally a lot of this is negative. It's negative self-talk. Um, and it's really important if you want to fulfill your potential that you actually need to start changing your thoughts. You need to start changing the way that you thought. And instead of thinking so many negative things, it's important to think more powerful things. Um, and a lot of the time that the thoughts you're thinking, they're not and this negative self-talk. It's not even your own thoughts. It's often stuff that you've picked up when you were a child. You have um, other people's beliefs. You create beliefs about yourself. And what happens, we tend to actually internalize those and then they become your negative self-talk. Um, and most of us, we have this running commentary all the time. We have thoughts going through our mind all the time. And for a lot of us, there's, um, you know, a lot of it is kind of um, aimed on ourselves and it's not that powerful and that positive. Um, I know I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story. I remember a time when I was on my way to Paris. It was like 6.30 in the morning. Um, I was going to Paris because I was working as a consultant there at the time. Um, I was in my 20s. I'd grown my business. I had a jewellery company and I'd grown it. It was selling globally. Everything was going really well. I was consulting with some very high luxury brands at the time. So from the outside, everything was perfect. And I remember being on the train and you know, um, my designs were ready, you know, I had a great suit on, everything was great. And the thing that was um, in, in my mind was the, the negative self-talk and the anxiety. I had so much anxiety about if I was going to be found out, um, that I wasn't good enough, that I, you know, yeah, that I wasn't as creative as they thought I was. And this negative self-talk was relentless. And I remember getting off the train and I was like, I don't even know if I can do this meeting. I don't even know if I can go through with this meeting because my anxiety was so strong. And um, at that moment, I just thought, right, that's it. You know, that something has got to change. Something has got to give. Um, I can't carry on like this. Um, you know, that I had the external success. And what was happening is that that negative self-talk was affecting that, beginning to affect that, and also every other area of my life. So what I did um, was I started getting interested in how the brain works, how like the brain actually processes, where these thoughts are from, and what we can do about to change, change them. And I got more and more involved. I became a, like a, a neuro-linguistic programming, I became a master practitioner because I got so interested in how to control the way that you think and, and train your brain to think in a more powerful way where you can really unlock your potential. Um, I went even deeper than that. I went into hypnotherapy, how the subconscious mind also works. Um, and I was also really interested in you know, not just the mind, but also the energy behind it. You know, we have, we have thoughts and we also have emotions. So I, as well as having the thoughts, I had these yeah, overwhelming feelings and I wanted to know how to change those too. So I studied like, um, I became a Reiki master. I studied a lot of energy healing, a lot of work on how to change these, these, um, these feelings in your body. And what happened was, um, as I was transforming and as my life was changing, people just started coming up to me and asking me, to help them um, and I started to help and I started to see that the tools that I'd learned from myself were actually um, teachable that I could actually help other people with this and then they could take on these things and they could actually start transforming their lives and it was an incredible feeling and that started to grow into a business um, and then the more I was doing it the more fulfilled I felt and the more it was like my jewelry business seemed less um, yeah, less fulfilling. And so I decided to sell that company and just work um, full time on doing this as a coach and helping people to transform their lives and reach this incredible levels of success. Uh, that was 13 years ago now. And I'm so grateful to be doing this work. Um, and I really 
I wanted today to bring you something that you can actually take away and use straight away. That there was actually a practical exercise that I could give you that, that was, is very, very effective, very strong, and also, yeah, you could just do it straight away. Um, and one of the first things to do is just to be aware that you have that negative self-talk, that you have this inner critic. Um, and often we, you know, it kind of, it's kind of going on and to know that it's, it's thoughts and it's not actually you. They're thoughts that you're having. They're not actually you. They're often being picked up by, you know, during your life. Um, I like to sort of think of that inner critic or that negative self-talk as like a really mean best friend who lives in your head, um, who is, you know, means well, but is really harsh and can be very, very critical. Um, and the reason why it means well is because it's, its job is actually to keep you safe. Um, and by keeping you safe, I mean to keep you within your comfort zone. Because within your comfort zone, then you're very safe, you're very comfortable. But I think we all know that your dreams, your desires, your passions, they all lie outside of your comfort zone. Um, so your inner critic is very uncomfortable with that. And uh, an amazing thing about the human, hum, or humans in general, is that we are much more comfortable, we will more um, likely to stay in what we are in, what we are uncomfortable with that's familiar than what is comfortable and unfamiliar. I'm going to say that again because it's a crazy, this is why people stay in jobs for too long that they don't like anymore and relationships they're not happy with. So the human would rather stay in what's uncomfortable but familiar than to go into what's unfamiliar but comfortable. And if you want to really truly unlock your potential, you need to step out. So you need to stretch that limit line. You need to push outside and go outside of your comfort zone because that is where the beauty lies. And that is where all the, the dreams, the success, everything you, that you desire, that is where it is. And I'm very happy to tell you that as well as having that inner critic, you've also got an incredible inner hero. Um, and that part of you is, compassionate, strong, um, powerful. And you've also got that part. And, and one thing that you can do is you can even name them if you want to. My, my um, inner critic is um, Beverly and uh, my powerful voice is Athena. And I've named them because that helps to externalize those um, thoughts. And it, again, it just shows you that they're not actually you, they're just thoughts. Um, and I've got a really, really brilliant exercise that I can give you to help to um, change the negative self-talk into a more powerful self-talk. Um, so if you imagine you've got like a boom box here, and I think I'm showing my age there. Um, so if you, I think boom, boom box was in the 80s, and so if you're not aware of what a boom box is, then think of CD player. And you've got one here, and on this side, you've got um, negative, your negative CD. So it's something that you've probably played many times before. Um, the tracks on it are very familiar. You know, it's I'm not good enough. Um, what if it doesn't work? You know, you're, you're fat, you're ugly, all of those horrible things that we, said, we tell ourselves. Um, on the other side, you have more powerful um, CD, which is quite often people haven't even got many tracks on there, if they've got any at all, which is, you know, you can do it, you're beautiful, um, you can achieve anything you want, you're magnificent, you're strong, you're brave. Um, and if you don't have any of those um, tracks at the moment, then maybe just write some down for yourself so that you've actually got, you're aware of them. So you are brave, you're beautiful, you are strong, you are capable. Um, and I was actually talking to my coach about this last night. Um, and she's uh, Lisa Nichols. She's an extremely famous, brilliant coach. Um, and she was talking about how she's used this exercise for a really long time because I was telling her I was going to be talking about it today. And it was actually, she used it the first time um, when she was being asked by Jack Canfield, who's also an incredible, um, his incredible inspiring um, author, um, to be a part of her, his book series. And she was using this technique at the time of the, the because her negative voice was saying, you're not good enough, you won't be able to do it. And she actually said yes, brilliantly. And that led her to being um, in The Secret, which is, I don't know if you know about that, that's an incredible film, it's well worth watching. And that actually led her to being on Oprah. And I think everybody's heard on Oprah. And now she um, has a multi-million dollar business and she's just an incredible teacher. And she was talking to me last night about how that actually has you know, been one of the most effective tools she's had and she still uses it to this day. 
So what you do is you actually, so you've got these two CDs, so you've got your negative one and you've got your more powerful one. And every time that you think, or you hear yourself thinking a negative self-talk, what you do is you automatically replace that with a more powerful one. And you use an anchor to do that, to make it even stronger with your body. Um, and an anchor is something, so music is a brilliant anchor. So if you've heard like a, um, a song on the beach 20 years ago and you hear the same song now, you actually are transported back to that moment because it's a very strong way of just having a connection, a physical connection to an experience. Um, and so what you do is um, I want you to choose two parts of your body that are going to be an anchor and do choose two parts that are going to be um, not very obvious for people. So it could be your um, earlobes or on your hands or on your legs, also good. Um, you know, you don't really want to be doing that because it's really obvious because sometimes you have your negative self-talk when you're in a meeting or when you're, you know, with people or in a relationship. Um, so you've got your anchor and when you hear that negative self-talk, I want you to press, so one of the anchors is, is pause and one of them is play. So I want you to actually use the anchor and press pause on that negative self-talk. So I'm not good enough, pause. And you might have to press pause a few times because often this track has been something we've heard many times before. So pause and then play the more powerful version. So the opposite of what that is. So I am good enough, you are worthy, I am worthy, I am brilliant. And what you do is at the beginning, it might feel strange or it might feel um, unusual. And actually what you're doing is you're actually training, beginning to train your mind in the same way as that if you want to be healthy and you want to have a really um, a fit, healthy body, you would go to the gym and do some training. It wouldn't just kind of happen automatically or the first time you did a sit up, you wouldn't be absolutely um, with a six pack. So you want to do this. This is a training. So you take some effort and it takes some practice, but it is well worth it because what you get, if you imagine how you would feel if you didn't have that negative self-talk, if you had that powerful voice in your head, the difference that it would give you. So it's really worth doing this. And I advise just testing it out. And one of the um, amazing things about it is that after you've been doing it for some time or after you've been practicing a few times, then your brain starts to link the two together. So when you actually think of um, the more negative um, self-talk, it automatically moves over to the more powerful one. And you'll notice I'm not saying positive one, I'm saying powerful. This is powerful self-talk because it's getting you to do to go into action, to make the change, um, to move forward into your full potential. Um, yeah, so really take a moment just to imagine, you know, what would your potential be like if you had inside of your head someone saying you can do it you're amazing you're incredible you can you can do this you can achieve whatever you want to do um just take a moment to think about that because um it's really a, such an incredible shift once that does happen in your brain um to the potential that you can have because your potential is unlimited um i want to leave with a short story and it's a native american indian um story that is um, a teaching tool and it's an old cherokee indian grandfather was talking to his grandson and telling him about two wolves that we have inside of us fighting and one of the wolves um, is full of doubt fear anxiety and the other wolf is full of hope um, bravery and success and these two wolves, the, the grandpa, grandson said, and which one wins grandpa? And then grandpa turned around to him and said, the one that you feed. So just really be aware of where you're putting your energy and where you're putting your attention. Because where you put your energy, where energy goes, energy grows. So the energy that you put into something. So when you're thinking that negative self-talk, talk, you're creating that energy in your body. And the same is when you're thinking the powerful, you're creating that powerful um, energy in your body. Um, and yeah, just really just being aware that you have a story that only you can tell, that you have a gift that only you have. There's only one you in this world and you're here to bring your light to the world. And with that more powerful voice that you have inside and finding that awareness of the negative voice and the fact that you can have distance from it and you can actually do something to change it can change your can change your whole life and i've seen that happen many many times with my clients um 
And yes, if you'd like to, to go further, we've got, um, I've got a half an hour consultation that you can book with the uh, Discover New You if you want to go through this exercise one on one with me, we actually do it personally. Or if you'd like to go further into actually how we could work together, how we could um, yeah, really unlock your potential because you have this incredible, infinite being inside of you that's just waiting to come out, waiting to be let out, waiting to be given the permission to come out. So thank you so much for your time and thank you Eliza and the other wonderful coaches for the brilliant tools you brought today. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. Thanks very much, Leslie. Uh, I was listening to that. It's just brilliant. Uh, uh, I never heard about this switching and play option. Uh, I was uh, more aware of, uh, you know, uh, doing affirmation. That's why I asked you a question as well. And, uh, you know, the love of, love of attraction and things like that. And then power of positive thinking. But exactly it is like that. When you focus an energy on negative, it brings you more stress the more uh, negative energy and uh, you can even burn out so it's just uh, brilliant the small tips so it was amazing thank you very much for that yeah, it's such a powerful tool to use it really is it's so simple and it's so powerful so yeah i really recommend using yeah. perfect great yeah thank you very much it was uh, very informative i think uh, everybody sees some of uh, you know something from themselves um um, maybe now we can uh, have a few minutes time for some questions. If anyone has some questions to ask uh, Julia, Leslie or Kate, uh, you can write it down here and they can uh, answer the questions now. So. Okay, I see the questions, guys. So I just yeah. unmute myself exactly. and put my camera off. Uh, yeah. So just to start, just to you have question. Do you practice? Uh, yeah. Do you practice your silver method daily? Sorry to interrupt you. Uh, that was yes, uh, yes, Leslie. I do practice a uh, silver method daily. Like uh, due to the fact that this is my lifestyle, I will be doing that few times a day. But uh, again, during the courses, we want people even to start the practice with five minutes a day. It's still very powerful. Why is it necessary for us? Because obviously, in order to change our habits, this is even something what you shared, I was very passionate about your story, by the way, we only going to change our habit once we are going to repeat them, right? I know that it's, we don't really like to be self-disciplined and we don't even like this word, but this is only one way. If we want to change something in our life, we need to put a little bit more effort to everything what we are doing. So yes, definitely five minutes a day. And I can guys promise you why I'm sitting here. I'm trying not to really open to using this word, but I can promise you how huge change you are going to see in every area of your life. I think that there was the questions about focus and concentration. It's just amazing because uh, remember that this is just the way of meditation. And obviously there are so many different approach. I love meditations and I'm not going to tell you here that the approach that I am representing is the best. Only what I can tell you that is effective. But obviously it's up to you which approach you are going to put into your life. Uh, with the dynamic meditation, um, what I really like that it's, we are not really trying to clear our mind. I believe that it's not really possible, but we are trying to control our mind. So this is exactly, Leslie, what you just said. We want to concentrate and have a focus on that beneficial stuff that will be working for us, right? So it's not really that you are going to clear your mind from thinking, no. You're just going to direct your thinking process to that one which you want to have in your life. So definitely it's excellent for the business owner. Like I do work with the, with the small based company, so I can already tell you the benefits of that. Plus when I do think about myself and you know the students in the class and the clients, it's just amazing. You just basically have that focus and please do remember the one most powerful step once you are meditating, you are generating idea. 
you are very open for the new solution and this is something what we actually need right now right we are founding ourselves in totally new society like our world i'm sorry to tell you won't be the same anymore so we need to open ourselves to change our perspective and dynamic meditation that i do represent is definitely going to help you great thank you very much uh, there was also i have for leslie here um, i mean in terms of the plane of exercises what is stronger because I, I am doing affirmations so let's say each day i write five positive things um, about myself or about uh, whatever is going to happen that i'm grateful for mm -hmm. is that the same way or it's uh, just a little bit different uh, techniques or how would you differentiate it and what is more powerful maybe for for for, for us yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a slightly different technique, but it's a very, that's also a very, very effective technique. And the important thing that you need to do if you're doing five things a day, either that you're grateful for or something about yourself, the important thing is that it's, it's every um, day, it's five new things that you're grateful for. They did a lot of studies on this um, and they actually um, found out that if you, often you do the same, that if you're doing great things that you're grateful for every day, you tend to do the same things. So I'm grateful for my house, my husband or my child or whatever. And that actually doesn't shift the needle for your happiness. Um, but actually when you are doing five new things that you're grateful for or five new things that you um, are positive about yourself, and then you think of why, what that does is it trains your brain to actually um, search for that positive and then search again for it because um, what the brain does it likes to run patterns so um, if you imagine when you're thinking more positively what it, what the brain actually starts doing is it starts to look in your environment for more positive things to bring towards you to you for you to actually notice and it actually tends to um like dumb down the more negative ones it's it just starts running patterns and it's the same the other way around with negativity if you're um concentrating on very negative things that's why they, one of the things that um they studied was if you watch even three minutes of negative news in the morning you're 30 percent more likely to have a bad day actually because what you're doing is you're setting your brain up for that day to actually start to look for more negative things in your surroundings um, so it's more than um, the law of attraction is amazing and it works and you know it's just your brain actually starts to run the patterns as well and starts to bring more positive things to you um, and there's so many different tools and techniques that you can do with this and it's very very powerful and they, they did studies as well about um, like um, if you're um, happy and you have a, um, a happy outlook, then you're also much more productive. You're, if they did, they set up a, um, a set of um, uh, yeah, experiments where they were looking at people if they'd primed for happiness and then to go on and do like every test, every kind of educational business test, and they're 30% more likely to be productive. So by starting your day in that way with those gratitudes and those positive affirmations, you're not just changing your own, um, like your energy or vibration, you're making yourself happier, you're also making yourself more productive and more successful. So it's a fantastic day. And with all my clients, I always work on morning routine and work on um, giving them something that really works for themselves, that starts them off in that really powerful, really really um, active rather than passive or um, act starting from a place of action rather than you know just keep doing it it's very very good just make sure that you're actually doing um, five new things every day and then think of why and uh, yeah it will make a big difference in your life well done great thanks very much and I have also questions to Julia in terms of being more courageous. I mean, sometimes we're very courageous, but sometimes, you know, there are some things or situation that, you know, stops us to, to act on our courage, I mean, uh, and make it happen. What would you advise on that, Julia, for, for anyone? Do you have any, any tips or? Yeah, 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 sure. Um, courage is a muscle, let's say, you know, so it's not something that, you know, you can switch from one day to the other. So it's really something that you need to, uh, to practice. Okay, so I really believe in, in a process in uh, really, uh, in the journey of, you know, becoming who we are and really giving ourselves also the time to 
evaluate things and to try things out okay so it's really a step-by-step -step process at least for me so um, I think that when it comes to courage uh, it's really important to have uh, like I said our nervous system on board you know so it's really about being able to relax and being able to yes to reprogram our mind and to reprogram our beliefs but from a very you know conscious and relaxed and and safe place okay so uh, what i would advise to to maybe explore it's yeah definitely meditation and we touched on that because it's it's really a wonderful tool to really uh, be with yourself and be more connected with yourself and it also gives you the chance to detach from your thoughts okay because the goal of meditation is not to stop thinking but it's to stop identifying with your thoughts um so everything that has to do with meditation and mindfulness i think it's it's really good to um to grow this muscle of courage and of openness and of curiosity um definitely i would say restorative yoga because i this is something that i that i practice and that I sometimes, you know, suggest to my clients who want to uh, to approach that, and it's it's really not a dynamic uh, style. It's not about sweating. It's not about being active. It's the opposite. So it's really about releasing, and it's about you know restoring and relaxing all of our nervous system by you know tapping into the parasympathetic uh, nervous system. So definitely restorative yoga is, is, is a big tool for me. Um, and then I would say also EFT or emotional freedom technique. I don't know if you guys know that. Um, it, it's a sort of acupuncture, but without the needle. So you do that with the hands. It's, it's tapping basically, okay? So you touch on some points um, and it's basically a, um, a revolutionary method, a treatment that can really um, work both on physical and on emotional pain, okay? So by using tapping, we basically reprogram our mind and we really, it, it kind of works like the affirmation, okay? But by really tapping into some precise points you really get a faster access okay and you really get to quiet your mind you really can get into a state of deep relaxation and openness so that what you are reprogramming also through the affirmations can work you know in a, in a faster in a quicker way so yeah definitely i would say meditation restorative yoga and eft emotional freedom technique to put yourself in a state of uh, of awareness and of relaxation so that you can really open yourself to to be more courage because you will be so self-aware and so confident and so you know okay in your body and in your mind that you know you can definitely um, do all the things that you want to do and so be brave and and be open and authentic you know the things that we that we discussed before so yeah it, it starts with with those tools at least for me Great, thank you very much. So anyone else has any, any questions to, to the ladies here? Or uh, is, uh, so you can still write it down. Um, or if not, then definitely you can contact us um, info at discoveryu.net and uh, uh, you get a follow-up email with all the profiles when you can book uh, maybe a free session with girls. But I'm just uh, thinking about how powerful was uh, the webinar for me even. It's just amazing. So sometimes simple methods can, uh, you know, improve the, the quality of your life uh, by meditation or by even this technique for tapping. I never, I never use it, so it's something new. Mm -hmm. so I mean, okay. any knowledge uh, cool. from, from uh, you know, uh, experts like you girls are just uh, like gold. So thank you very much for that. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> very welcome thank you so much thank you thank you kate as well it was brilliant uh, um, the silver method and uh, all the presentations so um if there's no more questions i think uh, yes uh you can contact us you can uh, try maybe first a consultation with the ladies and uh, subscribe to our webinar discovernew.net uh, we have lots of new content coming and lots of interesting events and webinars um uh, thanks very much for today and uh, also thanks very much uh, coaches to have this great content for us thank you you're welcome thank bye. you bye bye bye, bye. bye. Have a nice weekend. bye. bye, -bye.